In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the one-way valve. It's a check valve, and hopefully that's going to fix the problem we've been having with this uh, not getting enough water out of the pilot hole. Yeah, so we checked the grate. There was no, uh, it wasn't plugged up there. We checked the water filter. That was all good. And after a lot of research, you know, it took me quite a few hours of reading forms and, and things like that. Uh, the next thing to check is the, uh, it's called a one-way valve. It's basically a check valve. And I guess sometimes if that uh, is not working properly, you know, it can, uh, it can cause kind of what they was talking about, where it's hot, hot water, but you just got a small stream. And there's some people on the forum said they changed that and it fixed it. So hopefully on this one, that will be the fix. Now, the good thing is it's a cheap part. I mean, 20 bucks, you know, 19, 20 dollars, I think. Uh, the bad thing, it's kind of hard to get to. You can see it easy enough, but it's kind of hard to get, you know, both hands in there to work because it's kind of down on the bottom. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we'll see how it works out. But the first thing that we need to do before we start doing that, uh, I looked this up in the book after I figured out that might be the problem, is we need to go ahead and take a, a couple of these panels off just to give us a little bit more access. So we're going to remove these. Okay, so first I'm going to take these bolts out. There's two missing there. I'll need to get those before I go back on it. I don't know if I'll find bolts that look exactly like this, but get something close, something I'll keep it snug up there anyway. But yeah, that's uh, after looking at how to place this uh, valve, it did say take this side panel off and uh, to take this off as well. Okay, I got this side panel off and I got this uh, uh, passenger handlebar off. It gives me a little bit more access. Not much. It's a tight fit in there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reach down in there, loosen those ho hose connections. And a lot of times I can just get one hand at a time in. So it's going to be kind of a, a challenge. You know, it's kind of hard to get both hands inside of that. And, and I, I really don't want to cut that hose trying to get them off of that valve because there, it's very tight. There's not a lot of room. So if I cut the hose, I don't know if there's room to shorten it and get it back together. It's a really tight fit. Uh, that's the only bad thing about these jet skis is, you know, it's really, everything is so small, you know, access is. So I'm not even going to attempt to try to uh, film that in there, you know, video that while I'm in there loosening up those uh, connections. I don't think I can get a video camera in there anyway. So, but anyway, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to loosen those up and attempt to remove that valve. There's three different fittings on that connection so I need to loosen those all up, uh, slide the hose off and hopefully get that valve out of there and that way I can read exactly what part number it is and there's no confusion when I go to order it because it's probably going to take a little bit to get here so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay so it wasn't too bad I was able to use a couple extensions to reach down in there and loosen those hose clamps and what I was worried about some hoses are really really hard to get off and you know I've had some I couldn't get off without cutting them but I was able with one hand to you know, it took a little bit of time just to wiggle that uh, fitting around that valve and finally get all three hoses off. Now, maybe kind of hard to go back on. I'm not sure. But we did get it off, and this is what it looks like right here. And it's basically just a check valve. Uh, this goes towards the front. There's a hose that comes back here. It lays over like this right here. One goes in the front and one to the side. So, um... So now I want to get that out so I could look at it real good. This one is a HW5, has those initials on it, so that's what I'll need to look for. And uh, the thing I found out about these Hondas is uh, they're a little bit harder to find parts for than like a Sea-Doo. Uh, you got to kind of dig a little bit. I think I did find a place, but they had two of these and they had a different number. So I want to make sure and get this out where I could look at it and make sure and order the right one. Now the good news for you, I'll be right back in a second. But for me, this might take a week or two. And I'm back. So yeah, I got this in. I usually like going through Amazon because I'm a Prime member and I get it real fast, usually in a couple days. But actually, I got this in about two days. So I was pretty happy with the, the time frame on that. And I got this valve. This one-way valve. And also, they had some of those uh, bolts that I was looking for that was missing on this. So I went ahead and got 
couple of extra of those. So that's kind of cool. I was able to find those, at the original boats that look the same. So anyway, I am going to install this. And again, can't really get the camera down there. Very tight spot. But I'm going to install this and I'll be back. So I got the one-way uh, valve replaced and I thought I'd just take it out to the lake to give it a test to see if it's overheating or anything like that. And I took it easy for a little bit, you know, just to make sure it wasn't overheating and it was not. And uh, drove it quite a bit that day, just making sure that everything ran right and I did not have any problems with it. Uh, we ran it quite a bit, didn't overheat, but I don't have a video clip of this, I didn't get one. But once we took it out of the water, I went and checked it again to see if it was coming out better out of the pilot hole. And it still is not coming out as a heavy stream as the other jet ski. Uh, I don't know why or you know why that one would not have quite a big a stream, but it didn't overheat or anything, so it's running good. So hopefully this uh, lasts for a while before we have to work on it again, other than just changing oil and spark plugs and maintenance, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give us a like, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.